crazy. How good is that? Not what I expected at all. Hey guys, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we're reviewing the brand new Purple Hammer. So today we have Barker throwing the brand new Purple Hammer against this Purple Hammer that he drilled back in 2017. It's a four year difference. This is the only ball I've ever seen Barks throw right up five. So you know there's probably about 3,000 games on this ball. So today we're testing these balls on two different patterns. First we'll have 37 foot Broadway on the left lane and then 40 foot mercury on the right lane. So my expectation, well, this is a brand new version of this one. So hopefully the new one hooks a little bit more. So Barks told us he's gonna try to play different parts of the lane. I'm thinking anywhere between three and seven, but I'm really excited to see how these balls go. So let's head over out on the lanes. Hey guys, Barks is back with a brand new Purple Hammer. Now this thing hasn't touched the lane yet, so I'm not sure how much it's going to hook. We're on 37 feet, Broadway. Pattern I like to throw urethane on actually. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> now that's to be expected with a brand new urethane ball. It has no oil built into it. It just wants to take off immediately. So once we wipe some oil into the pores, that should smooth out the reaction a little bit. I gotta move way right. All right, this a little bit in there. Unfortunately, a 6.8. Just gotta make sure I pitch it further left. I will say this ball looks a lot different than the original. The color's a lot brighter. The engraving is a little bit more white to it. It looks different when it revs up down the lane. forward. Stand on 18. Just feed this to about four or five. That's way more forward. All right, threw a few shots with that uh, brand new purple hammer. It's got some oil on it. It's rolling a lot more forward than I remember the original purple hammer. So let me switch back to it and play that same line. We haven't detoxed it. We haven't resurfaced it. some room there, it's pretty good. That's the thing about urethane, doesn't matter how old it gets, it's gonna perform the same as new, roughly. I'm gonna move a couple boards to the right here and swing it a little further out. I think it'll recover. Ooh. Wrapped a seven pin there. I think if I pitch it further left, it'll be good. Kinda of tugged it a bit in the oil there, so it's kinda of hung a little bit too long. I'm gonna make sure I pitch this one left. Really hit the dry early. I think I'll kick out that seven pin. Close. Oh, baby. So as you can see, a four-year-old ball, it's still performing like new. It's still picking up where I want it to. It's still hitting the pins really hard. But let's take this ball, let's resurface it, let's detox it. Let's make it as close to new as we can. Yeah, we got the same layout on the two balls. So they should perform fairly similar. All right, same line as the new purple with the old purple. So I actually fed that a little further left and it just picked up and continued went through the face left the big four. So from what I can tell so far, the old is outperforming the new. Now these balls do get a little bit softer over time. So if you remember back a couple years ago, there was a USB-C event where all the uh, urethane balls got tested. And actually a couple of the purples didn't pass. They weren't quite hard enough. So they do get a little bit softer over time. So I think that's what we're seeing is four years of the ball softening up. It just wants to hook a little bit harder. We'll have to do a follow-up vid in about four years. It just continues so much more. Not what I expected at all. Let's go back to the new purple on the same line I just struck with the old one. I think it's gonna just kind of roll out a bit. It might leave a little three pin or something. On Q, 
cue. Yeah, just rolled forward a little too much. It doesn't round the corner the same way as the old one does. Really interesting. So I'm gonna move about three boards left. I think it should face up, but it's definitely rolling a lot more forward than I expected. Yeah. See, if I threw the old one on that same line, that would have jumped either through the face or Brooklyn. Quite a big difference. So we've seen how they perform on 37 feet. Let's move over to Mercury on 40 feet and see if there's any difference there. Question time with Barks. Now when it comes to urethane, it's been really polarizing lately. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally, I really like it. But let me know what you think in the comments. All right, we're back on uh, around 40 feet here, Mercury. We're gonna start with the new purple hammer. Right up five, Barker style. <laughs> For all you lefties out there. Picked up early, but it's pretty flat off the spot. It really rolls forward. I want to try something. I want to try moving a couple boards in and slowing it down and get my hand around it. See if I can trick it into finishing a little harder. A little better. A little messenger action there. As you can see, I really had to slow the ball down and really get my hand around the side of it. Let's try that shot one more time. See if I can hit it flush. 10 back. A little bit better. So it's definitely possible to get that ball to finish a bit harder, but you gotta trick it with your hand a little bit. That's something I don't love to do, but if I gotta do it, then I don't really have a choice. Let's go back to the old one. I don't think there's any tricks or any gimmicks on this one. Same line, I'm not gonna do anything weird with my hand. A little bone eight action there. Yeah, that thing's so continuous. That thing picks up, but it doesn't stop hooking. I ran over the nine pin, it's crazy. So I'm gonna try and trick this one the same way I did the new one. Move a little bit in, get my hand around it. I think it's gonna hook a whole lot more. <laughs> I mean, how good is that? That's incredible. There's a reason why the pros keep going back to these old ones. They just keep hooking, it's crazy. Let's go back to the new one, move a little bit left, and let's strike and send it home. Not bad, not bad. Let's send it back to the shop. All right, back from the lanes with the new purple hammer versus the old purple hammer. And quite honestly, I was really, really surprised with the results. Let's start on Broadway in 37. That's a pattern I would typically use urethane more often. So we started with a new purple hammer, first shot, hooked off the lane. That's kind of what we expect. It's a brand new urethane. But getting into it a little bit more, getting some oil on that cover stock, it was a little bit flatter off the spot than I was expecting. It rolled a lot more forward than the old purple. I felt like where the new purple was a little bit better if I played a lot straighter, I could really open the lane up with the old one. Now having this ball for four years, over time the urethane balls actually do become a little bit softer. So this actually gives it a little bit of a bigger footprint on the lane and lets it dig in more and hook a lot more. And you can really see that on that left lane. And it's not that the new purple rolling forward is a bad thing. It's actually predictable. It's what you kind of expect out of urethane. It was just a lot different than I was expecting when you compare the two balls side by side. And then moving over to the right lane on Mercury, medium patterns, I wouldn't throw urethane as often, but the results were quite similar to what we saw on the 37 foot pattern. A little bit flatter off the spot with the new purple, I could move in and hook it a little bit more with the old one. I really had to trick my hand and change my release to get around it more to create that sort of down lane shape that the old purple gave me. So that being said, I think both of these balls can have a place in my bag. A little bit straighter angles with the new purple hammer, and I can open the lane up a little bit more with the old one. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, it just gives me two different options with the same type of urethane ball. And to be honest, it's actually to my benefit, because it gives me two different reactions with two different urethane balls. There's no point having two of the same. So I wouldn't say I'm disappointed, just a little bit surprised in how different they actually were. So in throwing these two purple hammers side by side, I'm getting a good understanding of why some of the pros like to throw their really old purple hammers. They just outperform the ones that are brand new out of the box. They dig in a little bit more, they hook a little more down lane, and therefore a little bit more versatile. So coming up next week, we got another purple hammer, it's G Moose. He's gonna compare the new purple hammer against the pitch black. We're gonna do the two most popular urethane balls side by side. So stay tuned for that.